and live. Hi, the internet. Please tell me you can hear me all right. All right. So, we're playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, this has a lot of jank in it. It's only crashed on me twice. This is my second playthrough I'm doing right here. And, uh, so that's not really bad for a game with the reputation that this game has. I expected it to just be this, this crash fest. But actually, the problems are mostly interface and glitching and anim lots of animation problems. Things like that. <clears throat> Glad you could make it, Allie the Alien. So... We're going to play some of this. I, I should warn you... I've just switched to using mouse and keyboard all the time. I started using the controller because I booted this game up and I was like, this game was just made for a controller and it, it really was. And, but it just felt awful trying to do the shooting with the controller. And so I, I, I started switching back and forth. You know, when I was driving, I'd use the controller and when I was doing inter. And I'd do the shooting with the mouse and keyboard, and then it would sort of be random which one I used for, like, doing interface stuff. But that just got too crazy, so now I'm all keyboard all the time. But I'm still a little bit weird, and I press a lot of the wrong buttons now, and so this, this is going to be janky on my part, too. <clears throat> did they fix the issue... Wasabi for lunch, did they fix the issue where it often had to take several minutes to recompile shaders? Uh, I've never seen that, so it must be fixed. Not a great frame rate. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't check the frame rate. Idiot! I've got it, like, streaming at some big frame rate, which was fine. Yeah, that's not good enough frame rate. Oh, that's really bad. This was fine for... The E3 streams. <clears throat> I'm going to have to bump the game uh, resolution down. Can't believe I forgot. Oh, oh, oh. Windowed. So, how do I change the resolution? Um, that sucks. I'm sorry I'm doing this live. If I'd been thinking ahead of time... Well, I couldn't tell that the frame rate sucked before the stream started. That's a big taskbar, it is. I do. I never use the Windows menu down here. I never see that thing. Never. I always use those buttons down in the corner. Down here. Oh, let me make this... There we go. 
almost done. I apologize for making the stream wait like this. That's better, but that's still not great. Much better than before. Good enough. All right. <clears throat> also, I've only been awake for about 45 minutes, so I am still shaking the cobwebs off. <clears throat> Would it help to make it fully uh, full screen? I always have trouble doing full screen stuff some games don't like that streaming and full screen because you've got to bump the resolution down and then I've got to worry about oh wait this mode doesn't oh I know what it is open broadcaster <clears throat> every time I change the desktop resolution gets confused and you'd end up with the, the game image shoved into the corner it's not smart enough to go Oh, you've changed your desktop resolution. Let me resize this thing so that it, you know, fills that same rectangle. Anyway, let's get started. Oh, here's something. Uh, for those of you who have played this game, this drove me crazy. I guess this is supposed to be a screen. It doesn't look like a screen, but this makes no sense spatially. There is nowhere on the ship that you get, like, a place where there... If you go outside the ship, next time I land, we can look at it. The outside of the ship doesn't really have windows. So, like, where would this be? This is indeed PC. Do I know who I'm going to romance? Florian, I... Flirted with a couple of people and then I, I flirted with Suvi because basically because I liked listening to her accent and then the dialogue got super cringy and I was like no you know what never mind no romance for me I'm gonna be celibate this is actually my second playthrough and I was like this time I'm gonna romance somebody instead of just running through the game and no no it's just too cringy Uh, 93, the facial animations are way better than they were at launch. They're still not fantastic. Why did the humans name their colony Padromos? When they name it like New California or New Earth or, you know, how we named everything when we, you know, every time we founded a new city, we named it after a city that already existed. What was the downfall of this game? Uh, there was a lot. There's a lot wrong with it. It's, uh, it's janky. The, the combat's alright, but it's janky. The story is super obvious and not really a great sci-fi story. It's fine if you just want action schlock. But if you're here for, like, a Trek-style action story, it's not very good. And the villain is horrendous. I mean, just the worst. Just awful. Embarrassing awful. Alright. Who do we want with us? Korra. And you know what? You're boring. We'll have Drac.
board meeting. Pat is calm. And the open world stuff is super repetitive. It's almost Ubisoft esque. Oh, that head ring on the villain is the worst. The villain looks so awful. I don't think we're going to get to see him tonight. I'm, uh... Oh, thanks for that fade in there, game. That was weird. I, the the villain... The, everything about the villain is wrong. His dialogue is just... It, like, harbinger levels of just stupid... In fact, he's got the same style of delivery and the same kind of dialogue as Harbinger, only more so. Just this completely overwrought comic book dialogue. So that's bad. And then his design is unintentionally hilarious. He looks like an evil sheep to me. Just what even is this design? And then he's got this giant ring on his head which is apparently naturally occurring like this big ridge of bone but it looks like you know the pull tab on a can of soda that's been pulled halfway up and it just looks through that and the sheep face make him look hilarious but then he's always bellowing about you shall never take this thing and you will never defeat and we are destined to rule this and you know while you're mowing down hundreds of his dudes and it's just pathetic it's it's in i am embarrassed for the writer how bad the villain is he does not assume direct control thank goodness so is this currently the end of the plot sections on the first post arc planet i'm not sure what you're saying The writers are working on Anthem now. Well, that's not encouraging. That's terrifying. All right, let's see what this idiot has to say. Oh, see what I mean? The, sometimes the action button, sometimes the do it button is E, like in this case. But sometimes it's space bar. In the menus, it's space bar. And so it doesn't map one-to-one -one the controller. Like the jump button and the action button are the same thing in one place but different things on the keyboard. And, oh, it's, it's, it's bad. The interface is bad. Good for you. I could have used that ordinance a few weeks ago. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. Lieutenant Harper. We're looking for the Asari R. So am I. Watching the skies every day, praying they survived the cat. I suspected the cat. Also... The other problem with this game... Wow, I'm negative already. Uh, I was going to play this part of the game since I like this part of the game. I like the arc recovery missions. But I'm just tearing this game apart already. I hate all the, the dialogue choices. I wouldn't want to say either of these things. I suspected the cat. Since they're the only villain in the entire game. The evidence pointed to the cat being involved. The way pain is involved. When you get burned, what happened? The so bad. The arc across the cluster, but these weren't their regular soldiers. They were hunters, elite killers. Elite cat, uh, and the arcs are defenseless. Why did we send defenseless arcs? Why were they hunting you? That's a great question. Why are the bad guys motivated to be bad guys in this game? Like we've we've covered that None game. The arcs are armed. I don't like those odds. They kept shooting to slow us down. <laughs> Peeled one deck like an orange. A bridge officer, Sarissa something, gave the evacuation order. Hundreds of people, all trying to flee. It, it was. Where could we look for the ark? We lost track. But they launched a ship to help evacuees, and her crew would know. You'd have to find her. Follow the transponder. There's a transponder? Why are we talking to somebody if there's a transponder? Wouldn't we know that? And wouldn't we already be doing that? We could find anything. That's great dialogue. Our Thank you. Our Tempest is designed to find needles in haystacks. We'll handle this. The ship's called the Paraphona. 
Why did we come all the way here if they have a transponder? Thank you. It's good to see the cat on the only Henson, uh, Cora is my fav my favorite character. She's she's yet to make me cringe. She's never made me cringe with her dialogue. And I really like having her in combat. So I like running with Cora. It's usually my my setup is Cora and then one rando. Technically Drac. You can't see it, but I just ran into something solid here. There's like an invisible Like my character did a little move like that where they ran to the side as if they brushed against something, but I didn't do that. I was running straight forward. Lekensky, I I cringe super hard at everything PB says, but then PB, I find her... Yeah, you're right. She is intentional. They did... That was intentional, but... I can't stand her. She's actually the, the character I... I dislike the most. What were you thinking, Bioware? The character is terrible. And making her an Asari, like uh, a species that lives hundreds of years and she acts like a 13-year-old girl. Oh, it's so bad. For those of you who are curious, this is PB. And she's so quirky and wacky and really, really irritating. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, you can, you can walk around, you're not locked into corridors, I like the openness of the game, uh, it, it kind of comes back to bite you later when, um, you know, there's a lot of Ubisoft stuff, open world things to do, like a lot of get these three towers kind of stuff. But yeah, the the movement. Oh my goodness, the movement is great. I like the the jump jets. Feels super good. The jump jets when you're moving around become dodge moves when you're in combat. And it looks cool, feels good. It actually helps you get around some of the janky environments if you get a little stuck on something, you can jump jet free. I would agree with that, Lincoln, Ling, Linkensky. Uh, Andromeda, I think the big problem with this game is they reached way too far. This game is huge. It's huge. And I would much rather they had made a smaller game with better focus. With more polished content. Vetra and Drax were, are both good characters. I like both of them. <clears throat> I like Drax. Drax isn't just a Rex remix. Drax is a Krogan, but he's really old. And I kind of like that about him. He's got this cantankerous old grandpa mixed with, you know, old warrior. Where are we going? Looks like we're going to have to do some driving. Use the, the, the transponder codes to track the ship from her last known location. Which I guess was on the ground and nobody knew this. It is very confusing what people in this universe know and do not know. I actually like Yeah, yeah, I know I actually like the Nomad Where are we going? There we go Yeah, 
it's weird that the Nomad has no guns. I wonder if they planned to... If it feels like it was supposed to. It, it almost feels like... Missed a shot or two back there, huh? Two words, Harper. Covering and fire. Can get you a picture book if you need one. Nah, I wouldn't deprive an old man of his bedtime reading. The character banter is sometimes hit or miss, but sometimes it's good. There's a lot of it, though. Uh, in a lot of the other Bioware games, they've tried to do this, but you just hear the three. Oh, here's the three conversations between, you know, Caden and Rex. Okay, that's the three. And then it's done. There are many for every possible pairing. Oh, this quest. Yeah, in this game, the conversations happen just everywhere-ish. Just as you're traveling around, walking around, driving around. I thought... I. I came in here fully with the intention that we were going to do the most interesting part of the game, which is the ARC exploration missions. I really like them, and I wanted to do that just so that this didn't turn into an hour-long rant. And now I'm in here, and I realize to get to this ARC, we have to do this super grindy open-world Ubisoft bullshit. Ugh! I wish I could remember which one of these was the, the real thing. We're looking for a signal from the Periphona. And fast travel. Why won't you let me fast travel? Why is fast travel disabled? Not in combat, nothing red on the radar. So I wanted to show you the part of the game I love, and instead we're going to end up driving around chasing map markers, which is just the worst part of the game. You do this to yourself, Bioware. Why do you do this to yourself? Look at you. What What's become of you, Bioware? Pull yourself together. Where is my... Where is my map marker? Like, where am I? There I am. Right there. Yay, this bounces like the Mako. It's no, it doesn't bounce nothing oh aside from a basketball bounces like the Mako. But it bounces. Every place we go, things seem desperate. And just one team to fix it. That's heavy odds. Go by the odds, and we'd never have made it here in the first place. On the ground, this feels bigger. <laughs> All right, due east. All these little bases of guys for you to mow down. Far Cry style, just everywhere you go, and it's really annoying because every time you get near one, your companions will mention it. Oh, there's Ket ahead. 
There's Ked ahead. Oh, watch out. That might be a Ked encampment. Look, I think that's Ked over there. And they'll interrupt their character banter. And those are one shot. Once they have a conversation, they will never have that conversation again. So they will interrupt their one, your one chance to hear these two characters talk. Which you probably really want to hear so they can let you know about another goddamn base that you need to go in and shoot everybody. It makes me so angry. So angry. It's... It's like sabotage. Yeah, the ambient dialogue has just been frustrating. Uh, just before the stream started, there was this goofy three-way conversation. Yeah, I know, Sam. Thanks. I don't need to shoot a bunch of dudes right now. Thanks. Um, I was I was on the ship, and there was a three-way conversation between Lexi, PB, and one other person. Oh, Vetra. And, of course, all three of them were in different parts of the ship. <clears throat> and it made no sense that they were talking to each other. Rack, will you clean your armor? The smell's moving in and picking out wallpaper. Hey, if you don't like the smell, you can, um... You okay, big guy? Yeah, yeah, just old man moment. I got a good one. Don't rush me. I'll wait. I'm guessing even you weren't around for the Rachni Wars. Before my time, but you can still see. Another false reading, but we must be closing in. No, we're not closing in. We're all over the map, Ryder. <coughs> right, there's no reason to... That, that's true. There's never any reason to fight the cat. Do you want some... You want some more crap to carry around and some... A handful of trivial XP? I don't even know if you get survivability points. You have to keep changing the mode of mo the movement when you start to go uphill. Um, you have to switch to six wheel drive. All right. That didn't work. This happens to me a lot. I'll get into an area and I'm like, where am I supposed to take cover? And I'll charge in, especially especially when I'm playing with uh, biotics. I just don't want to play a cover shooter. I want to run around in the open. Like, I hate sitting behind cover. This feels terrible. Why are those guys out in the open having fun and I have to hide behind a wall? And it's because I'll friggin' die in two seconds if I run around in the open. Yeah, Lekensky, this only three active abilities is super limiting. 
Especially since some of them are really situational. It's like it's just not worth carrying some abilities around. We already knew that. No we already knew that. The game just told us that. Without the crew, we've lost our best lead to the Asari Ark. But <laughs> this is stupid. If they want Asari for exaltation, why not take the crew alive? It's like they saw the Perifona itself as a threat. But it's no match for a Ket cruiser. Also, why is Ket lowercase? Shouldn't be... Everybody else has the race name in capitals. But Ket starts with lowercase k. What's up with that? Also, this is a tick this writer has, is that they use decimate for obliterate all the time, and it really bugs me. <clears throat> and it you notice it, because decimate isn't a common word, so when lots of different characters from lots of different races all use the same word, decimate, wrong, you could sort of hear the voice of the author behind them. Right, Milo Christensen, y if right? Decimate means kill one-tenth of, path, and they use it to mean obliterate. Everybody in this, in this world uses it to mean obliterate. Still lots to do. Which I wouldn't mind, except a, one of the characters does this who versus whom pedantic correction, and so... It kind of feels like if the game's going to be pedantic about one thing, maybe it... <laughs> maybe it shouldn't be throwing stones if it's not... Oh. All that, and we can't even do it. We're, uh, quests can go on hold. Oh boy, I enjoy this quest line. Oh, now I have to wait for an NPC. You can see it in the upper right corner there. Um, we can't work on this quest anymore. It's done. This quest is stalled. Well, let's piss off and do a different quest. <clears throat> 93, it's really strange. This game is clearly intended to be played in a certain order. Things are written so that they only make sense if you do this quest and then this quest and then this quest. But they kind of allow you to break the order sometimes, but not others, and that's what this on hold thing is. We've got all these quests, these multiple concurrent quest lines, but they'll block each other. Can't go any further on this one until you do this one. Which, okay, but it allowing us to do it partly out of order lets us get dialogue that doesn't make any sense i talked to one of the people here on the bridge and they were like oh we've finally got a foothold and we've made our first outpost and i'm like lady we've got two we've got three outposts now what are you talking about did you not get the memo and she's talking about the planet like oh we've just barely started and i've already got it to 100 percent survivability so some of the dialogue does it make sense? But then they wanted to have multiple... I don't know what they were trying to do. Multiple concurrent intertwined quest lines is a hard thing to do. And... Doesn't quite work. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, Linkensky, that that is the problem. Uh, a quest will go on hold for hours, and by the time you get back to it, you've lost all the narrative drive. You've lost all the, like, oh, this is really intense. We better hurry. We've got to do this. And I'm like, all right, let's do Oh, no, I'm on hold. And then I come back to it four hours later, and I was like, what was this story? What were we doing? I forget. Were we rescuing a guy? Oh, no, we're shooting a guy. No, no, we're finding a guy, and then we can rescue. No, we'll find him, and then we'll shoot. You know what? I'll just screw it. I'll just watch the map marker and not engage with the story because it's too much work to juggle all these stories at once. Let's find another quest to work on. We could do the main quest. I was actually trying to be nice to the game by not doing the main quest. That's on hold. That's a fetchy grind quest. Grindy fetch quest. That's side content. This is all grindy stuff for a planet I've already 100%ed. Um, these aren't even proper quests and they don't have a lot of dialogue. So that would be kind of unfair. Alright. We're going to do main quest stuff. Which is the worst content in the game. Old orbit is steady. I heard... I, I've gotten conflicting reports on this game. Some people say, oh, they made this game in 18 months. And other people said they worked on this for six years. And I don't know which it is. This feels like a game... It, it, it would be a stretch to do this game in like 18 months. Um, it's a big game and it was ambitious and it feels like it got cut in it got caught in, in development hell and got shoved out the door at some point EA said you've had long enough ship what you've got Bard, you're right. Yeah, there were a lot of things that didn't work. The, in Mass Effect 1, they let you get Liara whenever you wanted, and they should not have done that. They should have made you get Liara first, because that was obviously intended. I like these swooping through space animations. They're kind of cool. Ninety three. I've heard that too. That they just that it, this feels like a game that suffered from terrible scope creep. Now orbiting Kadara, stand in order for all incoming ships. The port is a ceasefire zone by order of Sloan Kelly. She was head of Nexus Security. Oh. Space bar is activate sometimes and it's the back button other times. There. Space bar was activate to go down to the planet, but like two dialogues in a row. One needed the left mouse click and space was the back button and the other one space was the activate and left mouse button didn't do it. Oh, it's so bad. Incoming call. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy Ventureb. Rendezvous at Crawler Song. Your contact's code name is mm. Shayna. Shayna. Got it. I don't remember this from my per first playthrough. <coughs> One hell of a welcome sign. 
Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. Oh, this place! I really like the design of this city. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. Yeah, kind of is. How did these people build a giant city in the middle of the desert? Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Cat. Our supplier's waiting. Come on, we're gonna be late. <laughs> Do I even want to know? Nope. <laughs> okay, this... This looks like an old city. This does not look like something that was cobbled together over the last ten... Uh, over the last... Ten months? Fourteen months? No. No, I'm sorry. This did not pop up in fourteen months. This looks like an organically grown city that is years and years old. Just in case we didn't know who the bad guys are. <coughs> Excuse me. Krogan scared by a knife. What is this game doing? You look like you're waiting for someone. This oh, that animation. <laughs> I'm gonna make him drink both of them. He's actually my content. Look at that drinking animation. Oh, that is so derpy. Shayna, but you can call me Ray. Why would why would the writer do this? Give somebody two different names. There's already so many characters to keep track of. And it gives you one name and then immediately substitutes another name. So you're a smuggler. And I don't even think we see him later. Your man, Penterev, was arrested by Sloan Kelly, leader of the outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshai Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloan? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. The most interesting man in Andromeda. You know, I could get behind that if he had a beard. Nobody has beards in Andromeda. I think... Ugh. I, th I think this team is probably just bad at making beards. I wasn't... I wasn't listening and I don't care. Press it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the initiative. Sloan was part of the uprising of the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. Maybe she'll agree to a deal. There might be another way. 93, ben. why are they you so numbered I'll talk to the resistance. 4 and 6? I've never figured it out. I There's no pattern to it. You things go south. And he winks at you. Oh. I hate this game so much. Hey, you gotta pay. Keep the change. That guy bought himself two drinks and she do. demands that we pay. That scene makes no sense. That entire scene is just pure nonsense. A guy comes in, introduces himself with one name that's a code name, then switches to another name. The conversation goes in circles, and then the bartender demands we pay for drinks that somebody else drank. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. Godhead. Great. Oh, throne room. I, I also find it hard to believe that the Andromeda Initiative immediately descended into Mad Max levels of just insanity 
and depravity in 18 months? What? Did we bring a bunch of criminals with us? You must be Sloan Kelly. I'm... I know who you are. So, what brings a pathfinder to our humble port? Ben Terev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? Oh, this dialogue is awful, isn't you. it? Just point me to where you're holding him and there won't be any trouble. No. There won't be. Drop it now. You first. Like, what are you gonna do? Shoot everybody, Ryder? Put you down. Thanks for the hospitality. Like, this Krogan could have just shot you, Ryder. That made no sense. That could have gone better. Perhaps Mr. Vidal had more success. Mr. Vidal? Is that the spy we just talked to? Does he have... Is that... Because that wasn't either of the names he gave... Yeah. Okay, so it said... Sasha, or whatever his name is. Then he introduced himself as Ray's. And then Sam said Mr. Vidal. So now this guy's got through. Like... Ugh! Give me a name I can keep track of, game. There's a lot of characters in this game. She almost shot me. <laughs> Don't worry. I found a workaround. Let me guess. Comes with strings attached? Not any new one. Remember, Ephra wants Fen alive. So when you get inside, give him this. That'll eat through whatever Sloan's holding him in. And it can't be traced back to us. A resistance agent will be waiting to pick Ven up. Ven's intel better be worth it. <laughs> You'll be the judge of that, not me. There's a maintenance shaft around the corner, sending the access code to your army tool. That'll get you inside. You should be able to handle the rest. <laughs> drink after I refused his drink and then paid for his drink. Oh, I can romance this idiot. Ugh. Working with you has been enlightening. For us both. When you're done, come to Tartarus. First round's on me. I promise. Right? Name here, guy? Why did the crime boss want to point guns? I mean, we're all part of the in... in initiative and they're acting like a bunch of savages that have been out here for a generation and have completely lost connection to the you know their old culture and it makes no sense the, the timeline of this game doesn't work because it's too short for people to have populated this much and built all these cities I don't even know what I'm doing because I'm. Like it leads to a stock room. Sam, anyone up there? No heat signatures detected. The room is clear to enter. Also, when you're out in the field, the space bar jumps so you can hop up things. But you use left control when you're not in wearing your power armor. So, this is a jail with absolutely no guards. and I can get you back to the resistance. So I'm trading one cell for another. Hmm. Ben, you betrayed the Moshai. You're lucky Ephra wants you at all. For all his faults, the old man's not an executioner. The Archon's ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Kent transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Triangulate. It, this game is also super, super 
confused about how radio signals work. You're always getting... Okay, he said transponder there, but... <clears throat> there's a lot of points in this game where you pick up a radio... And you use it to triangulate the position of... Of... Of the sender, even though they're not currently sending. It's really weird. No, no, no. I, I said that backwards. You get a broadcaster and you use it to triangulate the location of the receiver. I said that backwards. But, that, but that's how this game works. You'll get a bunch of, of things that broadcast signals. And you get several of them. More than once in this game. And once you have enough of them, you can triangulate the position of the receiver. Which... Makes no sense. You resent Ephra, mm. so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better man, <laughs> Decimate the triangulation and it'll all work out. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm coughing so much. I like I said, I just woke up and I'm an old man, so I'm like always <clears throat> for an hour after I get up. Oh. Pathfinder, the communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Vetra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> Better than a being a broken law. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. We need to go outside the city. You know, in my last run through of the game... Yeah, I, I know Mass Effect has a lot of prefab buildings. But even using prefab, this just feels lived in, if you see what I mean. This feels like... This feels like an old city. This does not feel like something that went up 18 months ago. Oh. And the game is lying to me. There's nothing to scan here. <clears throat> Actually, 18 months ago is when the rebellion started. So in all that time, they had to have a rebellion. No, no, 18 months ago is when they woke up. So they had to wake up, have conflict, start a fight, hold a rebellion, leave the Nexus, find a place to live, take a bunch of resources with them, build this bay, find this location, and settle it in 18 months. It would help if it at least showed them they were still building it. You know, like, oh, this place is being built as we go. But yeah, it feels like this is a fully established, been here for ages city. The vistas are pretty. The the vistas are incredible. Every planet, almost every planet. The jungle planet's pretty terrible. But every planet uh, looks fantastic. And a lot of the flying around in space stuff looks good. Henson, the arm scanner, the, the game pops up a thing is, oh, there's something you can scan and you get some XP points and some lore. I'm not going to sit here and read it while we're doing a stream, but, um, oh, that was weird. I ran forward and there was like an invisible wall in front of me. Oh, it's gone now. But it like, w I was like pushing against a wall. Iridium. Nobody's picked up this iridium. 
All right. A city under a city. Okay, so not only have they built this city, but they've built all this too. They built those worn and weather-beaten infrastructure pillars. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. I'll bet you're a name here guy. I'll bet you're right. I'll bet you that invisible wall was to keep you from going forward before everything's loaded. All right, Sam. Show me what we've got. Kadara's water is dense with sulfide minerals, the oxidation of which produces toxic streams and lakes. This is where they decided to build their city. Even the nomad shields cannot withstand the water's corrosive properties. The presence of monoliths suggests a vault that might reduce the acidity. However, outlaws, pirates, and other unsavory exiles <coughs> inhabit Kadara's hills. The further you travel from the mountain, the more dangerous it will become. Good to know. Let's get out there. What do the pirates do when they're not shooting at the Pathfinder? Like, who do they prey on out here? And the smell. Yeah. I really like the blue water here. Hard to believe with my youthful good looks. That's cool. No one came out of that war looking good. Just the Asari. They tend to keep their hands clean. Let's make sure we know where we're going. Okay, not that way. That is definitely the wrong way. I'm glad I checked the map. I thought, ah, oh, we'll just follow the most obvious path, but no. Yeah, don't draw, draw attention to that, Drac. Please. Do we want to get out and shoot a bunch of indigenous life forms for no reason when we could just drive by it? This game just thinks that we can't drive for more than 30 seconds. Yeah. Look at this. Not only did they build this city, they built this and then they set up and they just shoot everyone on sight. You know what? Let's just drive through. Why would you shoot at a nomad? Instead of thinking, oh, fellow humans from the Ark, maybe this is good news. Nah, just shoot them. That's your plan for the rest of your life. Is to sit in the desert where there's no water and murder everybody that comes by. Must be how they power Kadara port. That, that wind farm is how they power that port. Okay, game. Okay. That Exxon camp has a high concentration of registered criminals, Pathfinder. High concentration of registered? Why do we have registered criminals on this expedition? What is going on with the initiative? Of course, the best thing about the rebellions was Shiagor, the warlord, my ancestor. Every Krogan propping up a bar says she's their ancestor. But how many have the clan brands to prove it? Never wanted to get that close. Well, now's your chance. They're on, my. I'll take your word for it, Drax. All these years and they still can't do interruptions in conversations. You can tell they want to. How f
Am I going the right way? How far through the game I am I? I think about halfway. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Look at Kadara Port up there. It's like the exiles are playing King of the Mountain. I think you mean Queen of the Mountain. Goes underground. Hopefully there's a way down. We're gonna need a really big drill. Area could be viable for an initiative outpost, Pathfinder. However, for any long term success, we'll need to find a solution to Kadara's water toxicity problem. And I went the wrong way. Can't settle here unless Sloan agrees to play nice. What about the charlatan? The collective's gaining power. We do not know the charlatan's identity. Sloan may be our only option. The doll could offer. So, the old Pathfinder, did he have any deep, dark secrets? Everyone has a few. Forget that stick up your ass for once, he's gone. Pathfinder. Then to where claimed he buried the cat transponder near this location. Yeah, I really like the jump jets. Even though I've been ranting about this thing for so long. Found That's something I really like. That's a mess. The transponder's power source is drained. They're pristine clean. So let's juice it up. Turn it on, then Gil can work Notepad well. that you're sticking One through your second. leg. Oh, it's a mess. See, we're halfway there already. Sure, kid. Those are only telephone sanitizer. How many people get that reference? We just received a notification that there's been a murder in Kadara Port. Murder, huh? Might be something to look into. A murder in Kadara Port? Well, let me drive through these four or five camps of of murderous outlaws that will shoot people on sight so we can investigate that one murder. This game is so silly. It's like every little area of this game is written by somebody different and they, they never spoke. Ninety-three, the things you can make from the open world bullshit are useless. I mean, no, not useless. It's like, oh, if I collect all the research points and gather all the materials, then someday I'll be able to build an assault rifle that does 4% more damage. It is so bad. It is just so useless. There's just no reason to engage with it. I mean... I collect the stuff because it's there on the ground and I'm walking by it anyway. But every time I'm like, oh boy, I should, you know, have an upgrade waiting for me. And I realize you've got to, like, do all this fussing around to craft a weapon that's just so slightly better than what you've got now. Florian G1, I am. I'm following waypoint markers because I'm reading chat mostly. Um, but we're trying to reach somebody that can tell us how to find the Archon, which is the main bad guy. And I forget how we're supposed to be accomplishing that, but I followed the waypoint markers and it just... Oh, it wants me to go back to the Tempest. I think the Tempest looks cool. I know it looks a lot like the Normandy. I'm okay with that. It looks cool, sounds cool, moves cool. 
there are some really great things in this game. I think if they hadn't had so much scope creep, um, and they just polished, you know, a few core things about the game, it would have been much better. What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? Yep. I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadar. How can he secretly call a meeting without me knowing? It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakamura Morda made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. We won't make any rash decisions. Drax just brought a problem to the team. Let's dial down the emotions so we can be clear-headed. Well, as long as we're fishing stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field. Ramav. We came all the way to a new galaxy and we found exactly one indigenous species. <laughs> Actually, there's two. There's the one we make friends with, and then there's the ones that is the bad guys. But now that we have the transponder, we're so close to finding the location of Archon's ship. Why is this conversation in the game? <clears throat> this is an honest question. Everybody's arguing about what we should do next. This feels like it's supposed to be a choice, but it isn't. I'm going to get through this conversation, and then I'm going to be free to pursue whatever content I want. So this conversation literally doesn't matter. There's no affinity system. There's no. This doesn't like, oh, I have to worry that I'm going to piss off Jal, or that Korra won't like me if I make a choice they don't like. There are no stakes here, and all they are doing is arguing about what we should be doing right now. I suppose it makes everybody's agendas clear, but this seems like an inefficient way to do that, is to have an argument. And I don't like, you almost always get two choices and like I can pick Meridian is important and who knows what I'm going to say. I'm with you. I can't wait to find the Archon ship. And then hopefully... <coughs> At least she me mentioned Meridian. Get Kala the nav points for both Elodin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey. I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Meeting adjourned as you were. Why did Ryder say that without player input? That's a dumb thing to say. Who care? That just made Ryder look like an idiot. It made Ryder look sort of petty. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Weird. Everyone on this ship is Yeah, this, that conversation does introduce you to all the quest lines it just dumped on you, but maybe a better structure would be to not dump all that content on the player at once. This is such a weird structure. It's trying to provide you with main quest stuff and distract you from the main quest at the same time, and it doesn't feel like there's time pressure. It's not like, oh, we've got to choose what we've got to do. So the game's just saying, hey, here's a lot of shit you could choose to do. So we've got to find Korra. Oh. Okay, in theory I approve of this. In the old Mass Effect game, 
people would just be rooted in place. Rex was always spent 24-7. He was just there staring at the Mako all the time. I understand that gets a little weird and it feels artificial. The downside of fixing that is that um, now we can't find characters because they're running around. And I don't want to complain about it, but it is really weird. Oh, and you're like, I need to contact this person and I don't know where they are. That's Gil. Oh, there she is. We got it, Raj. You patched up the Asari flight recorder. <clears throat> Some old access codes, a little data recovered from Sam. We have the Asari arc. Packs. That is that Sam just stood out to me. You can head there whenever you're ready. That stood out to me so much. Is we happen to get here and both alien species are at our tech lab are at our tech level using guns that we can use that you know are we're evenly matched and they're upright bipeds it is so weird it is so weird it felt like we at least needed a justification for that <clears throat> what I would have done name here guy is remember the survey ship this might not be Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari like and Sarissa more than ever. I trust you to find them before they get down. What I would have done is patched over it with some excuse like, hey, these guys are behind us technologically. So we've got all these great weapons. But they're tougher physically. They're way ahead of us genetically. And this would build up the cat because genetic manipulation is what they do. So, yeah, their shields are crap and we can blow through them easily. But then they're, you know, they're just super tough. Oops. Hey, I went to the wrong place. Didn't mean to scare you. What? Uh, I'm, I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What's going on in here? You look busy. If I'm busy I've never seen this. Is occupied with whatever I'm working on. Uh, rather than worrying. Whatever gets you through. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. This guy's boring. Gifts for everyone. I have a list. Gifts? Hmm. Uh, do Turians like poetry? Uh, for Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm not sure yet. Also, these guys are just humans. There's a conversation earlier between Jal here, our new alien, and Vetra. This is an alien from another galaxy. And she she asks, you know, does he have any family? And he comments he has eight brothers and sisters. And she's like, oh, how did you grow up in such a big family? And I'm like, is that a big family for their species? Maybe they have litters of 30. You don't know. And he's like, yeah, it was hard. I was in this family of eight. And I'm like... So you have human-sized families, you speak English, you use guns that are compatible with our bullets. You're not from another galaxy. You're from Cleveland. You're you're just people with purple heads. They have poetry. They have, um, at one point he talks about, he, he has cologne. I thought they were going to do a conversation where, you know, somebody said, Oh, you smell good, Jaw, And I thought it was going to be like, oh, it's going to be this awkward conversation where that's like some physical property of his being no they just these aliens have cologne and they wear it for the same reason that we wear cologne the series is so human centric now everybody in charge is human and even when they have aliens, the, even the, the other races act more human than they used to. Who doesn't like a personalized poem? Ah, great. Nikosaurus, yeah. yeah the Elcor and the Volus, both Thanks of who they left that. back in the Milky Way and didn't bring them with us. Seems to like my Rothschild. I might show him one. He does. Do Krogan like nine? 
I could craft a ceremonial and dagger for Drac. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jaw, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you. But I'm not. Or I don't feel like I am. Oh, I could romance the alien from another galaxy. I feel like that a lot. <laughs> Good to know. Yes, thanks for sharing that. Just be yourself. My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've... Also, another weird thing about these guys, this guy has a very strong, like, theater accent. And then, a bunch of these guys have Australian accents, and they they even have a place, it's either a city or a planet called Australia. Um, but then other ones have a British accent, and some have American accents. So that's really distracting. I believe in you. So this this should be called Mass and Mass Effect missed opportunities i think that's the title of this game because i know i've been bitching for an hour and 20 minutes but the the thing is there's a lot of cool ideas in this game and it feels like you could take these same resources and make a better game by cutting <laughs> there's so much stuff you could cut from this game that would improve it why is it telling me to talk to gil A loyalty they have loyalty missions in this game I did not know that where is the oh I can never find the quest I'm looking for missing arcs no that's not what I need I'm looking for the quest that I wanted to do at the start of this stream, which is find the Asari Ark. I thought that would be a great thing to do. I have no idea. Where did it go? It's just gone. We talked to Cora about it. She emailed us. We went and talked to her. And we said and I told her, Hey, are you ready? This is gonna be a big deal. And she's like, I'm ready. And now the quest is vanished. Yeah, Henson, I beat the game. I, I To be fair, my first playthrough was just a run to the end. I, I actually, you have to visit all the planets, and you're supposed to, like, visit the vaults and repair the atmosphere and make them all livable. I didn't do that. I just left every planet as an irradiated shithole or whatever and just plowed through to face down the Archon. And... That's what I did for my first playthrough. So, yeah, I missed a lot of content.
Oh, there it is. I scrolled past it twice. My bad. That one was my fault. Some of the loyalty missions are really good. I'm having Mass Effect 2 flashbacks now, where you've got, like, this terrible main story, and then these incredible loyalty missions that are just really, really good. The post-game design is the best you've ever seen. That's interesting. Linksky. Linkensky. I did not explore the post-game content. I immediately started a new game. Also, if you're an inverted mouse user, you know, the kind of person who pulls toward yourself to look up, it inverts mouse movement everywhere, including on this screen, which this is not tilting the camera up and down. This is just moving a mouse pointer around, but it's all inverted, so it's super weird. Here we go. We're going to start this mission an hour and a half after I planned to. We definitely have to take Cora with us, but who do we want as our other teammate? You know what? Let's take Vetra. They didn't bring the Quarians with them. In, in story, in the game, uh, the Quarians did have their own arc and they couldn't get it working and they got left behind, but they might show up someday. You could tell they were leaving that open for future sequels. But it's just so funny that the Quarians didn't make it. Of all the races in the game, the Quarians should have been the, the first in line. They need a new homeworld, and this is about finding new homeworlds. I thought it was so weird that they got left behind. So weird. We're approaching the nav points Cora found. Something's there. It might be an arc, but the damn scourge isn't helping. Sam, help out with the sensors. Hard to believe the Lucinia could survive in all this. I would be very uncomfortable wearing a rubber suit like this around in public. Or at all, to be totally honest. I mean, she just packs her boobs into that rubber sheath. Is that weird? Maybe that's not weird in the future. Looks weird to me here in the past. Focus on how we can help them. Good call. Help us sorry. Piss off the cat. Very cathartic. Sarissa will have plans for those decimation hunters. The manual Decimation the hunters. The commando you mentioned. You still believe she'll save the day? Sarissa was a legend even before she was the Pathfinder's bodyguard. She'll have a plan. Aha! Detecting an initiative vessel. Reading life signs. Minimal power. Multiple hull breaches. She's a wreck. Ah, well then, screw it. I'm just salvager. 
either the cat or the scourge really left a mark. The Krogan now, didn't get an arc, but we did I'm bring them. Why would, would you bring the Krogan? And on the way, subject them to gene therapy so they'll be able to breed faster. You're basically, I mean, technically we're all invasive species to the Andromeda Galaxy, but the Krogan are a really invasive species. Why would you bring them? If I lived in Andromeda and somebody brought the Krogan, yeah, we just brought them, they're our buddies, and I'd be like, didn't they nearly ruin your galaxy? Why did you bring them? I love these missions. These are really good. They've got character development. They've got a little mystery that they, you know, they work as a self-contained story as opposed to the giant uh, sort of freeform open world crap that loses focus. The These things work as a self-contained story. What's left of Lucinia. Come up to the bridge. Maybe you can help fix this mess. So I like them. They work really well. And it's one of the few parts of the game where they tie a character to the to a plot. This area saw combat action. No bodies. Whatever happens left the captain a little trigger happy. If the tempest looked like this, how would you feel? Krogan seem like the worst slave labor in the universe. In if you're gonna enslave somebody, why not enslave somebody that isn't born fearless and always Our looking for a fight? <clears throat> Respectfully, yes. You can't take any more chances. <clears throat> We can't take any more chances. We need to sit here until we suffocate in deep space in our broken ass spaceship. <laughs> These characters are so dumb. Ryder, I hadn't heard you were the Asari Pathfinder. Slave Troopers does make sense. Matriarch Ashara was Pathfinder with you acting as her Tiamna. I served with Asari Commandos, ma'am. Memorized all your battle manuals. Matriarch Ashara is dead. Sarissa was next in line. Her battle manuals haven't kept the cat off my arc. What happened? Why are the cat after you? Why are the cat after you? Why would you ask that, Ryder? The cat are after everybody. What a stupid question. I stole a module containing tactical data. All their secret routes through this phenomenon. Right, 93? How did we- how did both of us come up with the same word, we cat, for these scourge, aliens? If we could they don't know the word scourge, but they do know the n word cat. Them. Their Archon had the same thought. He sent his elite agent, the Valiant, and his decimation hunters after us. We take more damage each time we escape the Valiant. The last assault? We take more damage every time. So About 10% of your crew? Borders are we talking about? We're not sure, but for now they're contained down there. We couldn't do more. We spent our resources evacuating civilians. The Valiant wants Sarissa to pay. There's this whole conflict where we're supposed to be upset that she stole information from the enemy, and I, it makes no sense to me. Why would anybody take risks, be upset about that? My share. God has preserved me. What would it take to get the Ark out of here before this Valiant catches up again? An FTL burn long enough to lose him. But since the evacuation, we've been stuck at minimal power. The drive core is dead. My people are investigating, but those systems are below deck, with the Ket borders. Another Pathfinder team... 1985, yeah, the, the Angara call them Ket 2. It's another Ket translation... Shortcut, I guess. Consider Everybody seems sense. to have given them the same name. The last commando report came from hangar control. I'll give you access. Please be careful. 
Thanks, 93. Appreciate that. Name here, guy, that is a really good uh, point, is that by everybody sharing this this name, Ket, it, it helps that, you know, we don't have a bunch of different names for them. Pathfinders take risks. Honestly, I think having the Andromeda Initiative release all those colonists 18 months ago, so the galaxy's already, or the cluster's already partly settled, is the big thing that screws everything up. Because they already have names for everything, but not quite, and they've met aliens, but they haven't, and this is first contact, but it isn't, and the game's really confused, and I wonder if the, if that conceit that a bunch of humans left the Ark early and formed pirates, <laughs> formed pirate groups, it came up, was come up with late into development. Was it this quiet when the Arks were traveling through dark space? It's eerie. These spaces are designed to be bustling. The Lucenia will be back to normal once we get her to the Nexus. Cora, you are deluded. Why is there paper on the floor? Who owns paper in this universe? When have we ever seen anybody using paper? Everybody has data pads. Earlier in the story, it made a big deal over, Whoa, Ryder, you brought some printed books with you. That's crazy. She's like, yeah, I brought it from the Milky Way, or it was her father's, or whatever. But then here, somebody... Apparently had a file cabinet full of papers that got tipped over. Hey, check it out. We're new people. Stop! In the name of the goddess, I'll <laughs> shoot your rescuers. Rescuers and humans? Your arc made it? Just about. <laughs> I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. This is my team. I'm the cat brought the paper. That explains it, Henson. There's like a cat in the back that's always carrying around a clipboard, and he evidently got shot and threw all his papers in the air. The captain says we need to restore power to go to FTL. Right. Yes. I've tracked the power drain, and I think shutting the hangar bay doors will fix it. The cat forced the doors open, and the safeties are draining power trying to shut them. Why keep the hangar bays open? There's no ships around. I think the Ket are trying to reach the bridge. Ket can survive in vacuum for a little while. If we shut the doors, the Valiant's pet hunters lose their last escape route too. I pray the power will be enough for FTL. I just... Vidaria, I served as a huntress. Remember... Cora loves telling people this. Purpose action. Ima imagine somebody that, like, everybody he meets, he's like, I was a Navy SEAL. Hi, I'm Bob. I was a Navy SEAL, by the way. Oh, man, my car broke down. You know, when I was a Navy SEAL, we, we uh, they taught us that, you know, you need, to, you need to adapt. Like, that's the kind of annoying person Cora is when she talks about being a huntress. And I don't think it's intentional. I think, I think the writers just put mentions of it in it, in the dialogue, and they put too many without realizing it. And so it feels really self-conscious. We got this. Cover the console while Sam works. Nice steady fire. Yes, ma'am. All right, this is the one where I've got to like hold the position. That's fine. It does something new with combat. Combat. Um, I'm hitting him, sir. Can I get the judges to rule on that? That was clearly a headshot. Yeah, that those are hits. And he's not taking damage. Well, that got him. Oh, 
100 door closure at 77%. Why are you guys up there? What are you even doing? Hangar doors are closed and locked. Pet access is cut off. That everybody? That's everybody. Name here, guy. I did appreciate that they um, that they do let you respec into any class you want. Um, I started my first game as a Vanguard because obviously Vanguard has always been the best class. It's just the strength of the Mass Effect series. Vanguard is the way to go. But then I thought for my second playthrough, I'll do something different. And I forget what I started with, but it was awful. It was just really focused on on guns. And that was super... Bo hiding behind cover and using guns. And it was boring. And so I respect into this sort of... I, I, I'm forcing myself to not use charge. Just because otherwise I'll just use charge all the time and that's all I'll do. Are we... S where's... Where are we supposed to be going? It's showing a guy alive in that direction. And it's playing the action fight music, but there's no guy around. Are we stuck? Are we soft locked again? See if that guy will despawn. Thanks for boosting my shields here so that I can walk down this hall in safety, Cora. Um. So yeah, I said at the start of this stream I've only had a few crashes, but apparently, um... The streaming curse is still in effect, and things go the most wrong when I'm streaming. I think we're soft locked. I can see it's telling me there's a guy. Oh, weird. Okay, if you look at the bar at the top, there's that red dot that's telling me, "Hey, there's a guy you need to shoot." There's a guy you need to shoot. But when I cross this threshold, he vanishes, and when I cross it again, he comes back. And I think I've got to kill him to proceed. Yeah, it says he's below me, Milo, but if you look, when I come down here, he's not here. And then when I come up here, it says he's on my level. But then when I get close, he's below me. So, where is this dude? That would put him somewhere in the middle of this wall. Is 
So yeah, I'm going to call this a soft lock. You know, it would be nice if the game had a way to cope with this, like if it's been three minutes and there haven't been any shots fired, then just despawn the enemies. If the enemy can't path to you or reach you or if it's stuck, it should just kill itself and despawn. You're gonna, like you have to shoot all the dudes to proceed. That worked! Thank you, whoever suggested AoE attacks. Except there's no power. Bidaria? Who suggested that? What was that? I estimate that several of the arc's electrical junctions just overloaded. Shit! Bidaria? Bedaria's down by that maintenance pass. Bedaria, Sam says we lost some electrical junctions. I know. The overload started a fire. Damn it, that shouldn't have happened. Be calm, soldier. What could have made him overload? If... If there's something else draining power on the lower decks, as something big... Theories can wait, people. Let's secure the Ark first. That might be complicated. Those Kets... They must be watching us. If they delay the repairs long enough, the Valiant ship catches up. If we're quick and efficient, we can outmaneuver them. Okay. First thing is the last stasis pods. I'll go check on them. You could go below, look for whatever's draining power, and maybe help with the fire. Which way to the lower decks? Uh, the living quarters. I'll open maintenance access. You can cut through. Good luck. May the cat wither in the void before you. Then she walks casually away. <laughs> animations, this poor game. I, I'm trying not to make fun of the animations. We got some power, then a damage report. What happened? An accident. We're fixing it. All right, go forward. We'll keep prepping the drive core. We won't let you down, man. Of course not, Lieutenant. Zirisa out. <laughs> this is kind of cool when you're playing it by yourself. Not so much when you're on a stream, but this is genu genuinely like, oh, this is kind of spooky and atmospheric and fun. I really enjoyed it, and especially when you didn't know what was going to happen next. I really enjoyed this. By the way, Why am I searching these rooms? They're just gonna have stuff I don't need. More paper on the floor. Maybe the Asari really are into paper. And it's just the rest of us are stuck using tablets. Oh, that's a dark thing to think about, Cora. Did they have, d in this game, if you hit somebody with a biotic power that, like, makes them float in the air, and then you hit them with, like, this concussive shot, it creates a combo that makes an explosion? Did the previous games have that? I can't remember. I played through them so many, well, I played through Mass Effect 3 twice, but I don't remember that. Well, whether it was in the earlier games or not, I really like it. And it makes things a little more interesting. You can, like, think about your teammates and what kind of powers they're using and, like, look for ways to create synergy. It makes everything just a little more interesting. They'll hear me killing them? <laughs> no, no, kill them. Up 
Also, Chosen, Destined, and Anointed. <clears throat> the weird sort of naming of these enemies. Hey, Korra, can you give us a little bit of that shield boost so I don't have to cower behind cover? No? Alright, that's fine. Boom! I really love doing that. Like, it's complete overkill for these guys, but I love doing it anyway. Like, I, I'm okay with them doing the anointed thing and the chosen and the disciples and whatever, but it has all these religious connotations that the game never does anything with. Like, it... It implies that their whole uplifting process is is religious in nature, but then the game doesn't talk about it. Like, that would be an interesting way to, to characterize these guys, that they're driven by their religion, and they honestly believe that they're helping the galaxy by doing their thing that they're doing. But no, they're just such cartoon villains, and it's like, it frustrates me, because there is a much better story, you could tell, with this same plot, if you just changed the, if you just changed how you handled the the enemy, you could make such massive improvements to this game, and make them so much more interesting. Minimal power is rerouted. You may now trigger fire suppression. I didn't think it would kill me that fast. I was going to go and set myself on fire just to be an idiot because I thought it would be hilarious. Oh. Again. Two cat were trying to mess with the stasis pots. Not anymore. Good work. Remember services manual. Stay low. I will. The pots are safe. I'll keep tracking that power drain. Oh. That killed me really fast. The, the reason I thought I could take it is because earlier I saw my... Damn it. Earlier I saw my teammates wandering through fire, and th they just stood there on fire for several seconds, and I was like, oh, fire doesn't really hurt you, because they just stood there on fire, not even making any sound for several seconds. And so I thought it wasn't a big deal, and I thought I could set myself on fire and it would be funny. And no, apparently it's a little different for the player character. This is different. Where are those wraiths? Last time we did this, we had wraiths. Wow, that guy took a lot of headshots. go away and stop being alive. Enemies everywhere. There is a screen that says enemies everywhere in this game. Uh, when you're doing your... <laughs> well, why were you... That was not an egg. Were you trying to... Were you trying to sit on it there, Vetra? Um... Oh, stop being so bossy! I'm playing a video game, Cora. Do you freaking mind? Yeah, that's right. Ironic. The electrical junction is damaged. What's the ironic about that? Oh, because it's the fire suppression system. Whatever this power is, the arc needs fire control more. There. Let's try again. In your Apex team screen, you can give a bonus to your guys um, when enemies are everywhere. Okay. And this time I didn't stand in the fire. 
Captain Atandra here. We're warming up the drive core, but we need more juice. We're on it, Captain. Good. The Valiant ship is still out there somewhere. We've lost so many, and Matriarch Ashara. It can't be for nothing. You know, the thing is, I just got done watching uh, Games Done Quick was last week, right? And we've I've been streaming for two hours. In that amount of t that's the amount of time it took somebody to beat <coughs> the Resident Evil re remaster. They beat the entire game it, in less time than it took us to do all this dicking around in today's stream. That's amazing to me. Here, this is what's draining the power. What is this thing? It's an ice cream maker. Like the cat attack sheared off some hull plating. Then someone rigged up this mass effect field device. The field's so strong it holds the hull together. It would help people evacuate the deck beyond. And give anyone sensitive to mass effect fields a nasty migraine. No kidding. But they'd survive. The deck's deserted now. We have to turn the device off. I tried pulling the plug, but nothing. Can you scan it? You tried You're pulling the plug now. and it didn't turn off? Okay, we have to unplug this thing because we need the power it's using. But unplugging it didn't stop it from using... It's still plugged in. That literally makes... Then, okay, I understand sometimes writers make plot holes because plots are big and complicated. But you understand how fucking outlets work, don't you, writers? How... How did you write that? On purpose. What are you doing? I tried unplugging it, but nothing. The device requires two people for shutdown. One disconnected the cables, and another at the device. Okay, so what would happen if one person disconnected the cables and the other person didn't do anything? Would the cables plug themselves back in? This hurts to think about. Okay, I'm gonna pull this plug and it's gonna stay unplugged, which means it will not be taking power. It doesn't matter if you're pushing a button over there. This is definitely unplugging it. Disconnecting the first cable now. Catch! Watch the device. We'll handle them. But we need you, Vidaria. You can do this. Why couldn't she just unplug these all herself? Okay, it attracted the cat. That would make sense. She can't do it without somebody to guard her against the cat. I'm fine with the premise of this. But the idea that she couldn't stop it from drawing power by unplugging it is just too silly to think about. And you could have... You're free to write whatever dialogue you want. You could justify this in any way you want. And... So why would you write that? Cora, where's that shield boost? All right, now the cable. Okay. 
Oh, I'm healed. Sometimes I get healed and I don't know how. Like, I'll have low health, and then I'll run around and I'll be like, Oh, good, healing. Oh, wait, my health is up. Do you regenerate health between fights? Working on the last cable. No, sometimes I've noticed my health stays down between fights. Another attack. They're desperate riders. Maybe uh, one of my teammates has a healing ability. Vetra, out of the way. I'm the player character. Their last Break oh, oh. Vetra's minigun confuses me because it sounds just like the anointed's gun. Stop shooting. Thank you. It can be deactivated now that it's completely unplugged and drawing no power. We can stop it from drawing power. How does Noise. this work? It's gone. <laughs> um, that's what we wanted, right? It's Captain Otondra. Ryder, the drive core is coming online. You did it. A few minutes, and we're out of here. <laughs> there's a hole in your arc. Can we still go to FTL if there's, say, a big hull breach down here? Uh, the maneuver I plan should hold us together. If the FTL burn doesn't, we'll have to cope. Sarissa here. Superb work, all of you. We're almost home. It's really over. I should go and help. There might be something I can do. We'll supervise from here. We'll keep an eye on that hull breach, just in case. Sarissa should be proud, Daria. You'll be one hell of a commando. You'd know, Lieutenant. Thank you. For everything. Got us guide you. Pathfinder. Restoring power has freed up the data cache. It includes the succession log from Matriarch Ishara. Oh no, the big reveal. Forget the data. I need you. The barrier's collapsing. Ishara, they'll tear the arc apart. I... That data is the only thing that might buy us time. They had reinforcements approaching Pathfinder Ishara. Sarissa! My Sam Kim! Tiamna, please! I have to save them, even if I can't save. Forgive me. who stayed faithful even when all was lost. Sarissa left you to die. This is the person. Cora's been uh, idolizing this person. Sarissa, oh, it's so great. She was so great. She's a sorry commando, and I really look up to her. And now the big reveal is that Sarissa, and she's supposed to be a bodyguard for the Pathfinder, and instead of protecting the Pathfinder, she went and saved, I don't know how much of the Ark, maybe the whole Ark or hundreds of people on the Ark, and, okay, that's like, imagine one of the Secret Service guys protecting the president left the president to save hundreds and hundreds of lives, maybe thousands. Okay, that's technically abandoning your duty, but with all those people dead, the Pathfinder doesn't have a purpose anyway. So, she technically abandoned her duty, but it's not... It's not the kind of thing that I think anybody's going to really care about. So, Cora's big reveal, oh no, she left her duty, just has no punch. It just makes no sense. She was forced to choose between her Pathfinder and her Ark. She made the right call. Look around. Right, name here, guy.
First. not be upset about this? Atondra here. The cat hunters blindsided us. They have a drop ship headed for the breach on deck 12. How long until we have FTL? Too long. Sarissa's coming to help. Push him back. Helmets on, people. I'll bet we're going to have to shoot some dudes now. How am I hearing that ship? I, I realize that's a dickish thing to point out. That ship is in space. We shouldn't be able to hear it. But I'm going to point it out anyway, because that's how I do. Yeah, fire them and give them a metal type situation. Um, are we supposed to go? Oh, I thought they were coming to us. We're supposed to go to them. Caution. The magnetic field device is still connected. Remotely triggering it may affect local gravity. Could be useful. Keep your mag boots active! And stay back from the edge! I hate distance fights like this. I mean, I'm not saying they shouldn't be in the game. I mean, I personally just don't care for distance fights. I kind of like running around, getting in people's faces, meleeing them to death. You know, kind of combat with a lot of motion. But when you get guys at a distance, there's just... I didn't mess with this last time I did it. Oh. That's funny. A bitch of that guy's pissed. Oh, come on. I just got here. That one was mine, Cora. Come on. Poke. Rider, the Valiant's sending more cat. Sarissa's all Oh no, not more cat. What will we do with more cat? Well, I suppose we could just shoot them. The decimation. Must be the valiant himself. There aren't even ten of us. I didn't realize you could actually... Oh, one of these guys. I hate these guys. As a vanguard, I hate these guys. They remind me of... Um, whatever the monsters... Uh, the Reapers make out of Asari. Um, that they get that instant kill attack if you get too close. That's... That's what these guys do. So if you're a vanguard and you just... Ca casually mash the charge button. Uh, you these guys will insta kill you. I hate these guys. You you bring their their shield down, and then you get to do some damage to them. And then they get another super big shield. Uh, 
Oh. These guys just take so long to kill. And you get stuck in a narrow hallway where you can't dodge those huge attacks that just instantly kill your shields. Like, I don't think this guy could kill me. He can bring my shields down over and over again, but I don't think he, he has the damage output to kill me. But it takes so long to kill him anyway. Like, there, I eat that. My shields are down. But he's not going to hit me with anything now for a few seconds, and my shields will recover before he hits me with something else. Oh. Why can I hear him talking? I thought there was no air here. Technically, that was still my kill. Like the Battle of Kirkus, there's still a chance. Lieutenant, please! Don't help her, Cora. Make her do it herself. That's what you get for saving thousands of people instead of doing your job. No. I had to say that seems pretty OP. Yeah, 93. That's what I was thinking. Why do they even... Why don't they just have like 50 of these people sitting around on a spaceship? Two of them shield the ship, and then when they get tired, the next two step up, and then when they get tired, the next two step up. His ship would be invincible. <laughs> you should know better than to save thousands of people. I just can't get behind Cora's. Be their shining hero. And maybe that's how it should be. Okay, now this is an interesting choice. She didn't tell everybody that she stopped right. protecting the president. You know this, don't you? So this is finally an interesting choice. Finally we have something we should uh we can bite down on. Last time I said we should keep this quiet and nothing happened. So I'm going to pick the Asari should know. We're going to tell everybody you abandoned your duty to save all of them. Like, how upset are you going to be if you're an Asari and I come and tell you, yeah, yeah, one of the Secret Service people abandoned her duty to save you and everybody you know. How upset are you going to be about that? I think not very. They need to hear the truth. Let them handle it. Cora, don't do this. Sorry, but we need to prep for the Nexus approach. We've got a hell of a story for them. She must Here. smoke a lot of cigarettes. Sarissa chose retrieving the Ket data over saving Ishara's life. Our Sam found the succession log. You've... One of your harebrained ideas got Ashara the killed. The cat killed her. I had to be sure the Ark could escape them. And we did, again and again, while they hunted us down. It's only dumb luck that Ryder found us. Uh, don't get sanctimonious. You were going to space me at the beginning of this mission. Vidaria? Maybe a Pathfinder with some humility can do better. 
can look to Ryder's example. Sure, whatever. Why does the game ask me? Like, I hate the, the game. The game needs the player to weigh in on everything. And so many times there are these situations where I feel like this is not my business. There are so many times in this game where it's like, so do you want to do A or B? And I feel like this, this is not the player's business. The most sensible thing to do would be to not get involved. And it makes you get involved. Like you're this just pushy this asshole that just oh, has to give your opinion on everything. Suvi on the bridge mentions that she's a believer in some vague higher power. And the conversation gives you the option where you can either, <gasps> me too, or, oh, that's dumb. I mean, I don't know what the options really said, but you can either disagree or embrace her as a fellow believer. You can't just say, oh, that... Hey. Okay, now I know that about you. Can Let's I continue this conversation. We don't need to have... It. You don't need to argue about this. Like, what kind of asshole immediately, as soon as somebody mentions that they have faith, you immediately need to gainsay them? Well, I don't. I don't think that's true. What? And the game just... This binary stuff that the game does. There's a reason Mass Effect 1 always gave you three options. Because neutral is important you can just default to one or the other you know they, they can choose between you know they can work out for themselves which of the two options they they want to follow we know our mission i think we're finding our way pretty well <laughs> yeah this is patched i uh yeah th this game i just started it a few days ago <laughs> look for the mentor, the plan as a pathfinder. This is another thing I found really weird is she feels like she's almost uh, her voice. It's hard to tell cuz the character models in this game are a little plasticky, but based on her voice, I feel like Cora here is almost 40, which seems like a good age to be a pathfinder. And technically Ryder is supposed to be like has had several jobs before this one so Ryder's supposed to be an adult and has had lots of other things but the character model all the Ryder character models look 18 to me male and female they're all 18 to 24 so it's always felt weird that Ryder has this job and that everybody continues to follow Ryder I'd like an alternate ending where just after you become Pathfinder, you can just pass it on to Korra, and it just rolls credits. <laughs> like, in the first act of the game. <laughs> like you, anyway. These are all so dumb. Now, it, technically, Ryder's responses aren't as dumb. I like you anyway. You're twice the woman she... These are all really dumb. But when you actually pick one of them... You won't say something, you won't say you've done great things. Ugh. You defended us on Habitat 7, found the Asari Ark, and fought the cat. Ertl, I tried to, I That's tried flirting job. with, uh, and Suvi. And the, it was too cringy, and I was like, no, never mind, no romances, no. It's too cringy. Yeah, I don't know what all the options are. Um, what did you? What's her name? PB flirted with the player at one point, but I was just like, no, no, I can't stand PB. Go away, go away. Hmm. I don't remember this from my per first playthrough, but I did this quest. Is it possible to do this quest and yet not get her loyalty? Or did I click through this without realizing? I can't believe that her loyalty mission is the Asari Ark. That's funny. In the armory. 
Oh, yeah, and every time you get on the ship, everybody messages you. Hey, I'm in the armory. Hey, I'm in the escape pod. Hey, come see me in engineering. Hey, I'm in the medical bay if you want to talk. You've got emails at your terminal. You've got unspent AVP points at your terminal. And, uh... Yeah. It's like getting back from vacation and you feel like you have a bunch of work piled up. Alright, wow, we've been streaming for over two hours. This has been fun, but I need to go do something that is not streaming now. Who's Natalie Dormer? Nikosor uh. Right name here, guy? I have an A in my head AI in my head. Why do I have to walk around the ship to check my email? The medic woman. She's actually one of the characters I like. And I like her because she's not this quirky, flirty, trying so hard to be wild and cool and crazy. She's just, yeah, I'm the medical officer. And I act like a medical officer. And not like a character on a sitcom. All right, I'm gonna go. Thanks for coming to the stream. Thanks for talking about this game. You know, the whole point, I wanted to do this stream so that I could hear other people's thoughts on the game because I felt like I was experiencing this game in a vacuum. And I spent the whole time playing and ranting. And so I think next time, I, I, I really wanted to come in here and read a whole bunch of chat and see what people had to say about the game. And I sort of got caught up trying to play and uh, so now I want to now I want to do another stream, but actually talk about the game with chat instead of just play the game, and uh, keep one eye on chat. Yes, I must leave. Um, but thanks for coming. I think we're gonna do this again. I think I think Andromeda bears more than one stream. Um, and maybe next time we can talk about the game more. So, uh, thanks everybody. See ya.